Oke, okay. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. The Honorable Prof. Zahar Itaha as our lecturer of Basic Research Methodology subject. And hello all of my friends. Hopefully all of you are in a safe and healthy condition. So uh, in this occasion, I would like to present my final presentation for the research proposal entitled Automation System Evaluation at Main Station of Crude Palm Oil Industry Towards the Achievement of Brick Even Point in the case study of the PT Smart TBK. And then for my presentation of line today, our consist of the first one, we will start with the research key chart and then continue with the research note cards, research background, problem formulation, research objective, research approach, research methodology, and then we will close uh, our presentation with the research workflow. Okay, so we enter the first part of our presentation, which is the research key chart. So for the research key chart, in here I have the crude palm oil industry, and then from the crude palm oil industry consists of the marketing section, main station or the production section, and then management and then executive. And I choose the main station or production. And then from the main station or production, it has uh, four aspects, which is the materials, automation, processes, and also the assets. And I choose the automation. And then from the automation, it will be evaluated using the break-even point. And then from the break-even point method, we would like to uh, gather the data collection. And then after that, we do the forecasting. And then the, after that, we construct the research flow diagram and it will result in the automation system evaluation towards the break-even point as already showed in the screen now. And then for the research note card, it was consist of five keywords, which is the crude palm oil, and then automation, and then evaluation, break even point, and then the last one is the forecasting itself. <clears throat> okay, so for the research background itself, PT Smart TBK is the largest crude palm oil production company that located at the center of Kalimantan Island. The process of production was start from the process of planting, harvesting, and processing the palm fruit into crude palm oil product. So uh, this company farm has an area of uh, 17,000 point two hectare, and also it could uh, produce the uh, crude palm oil until uh, eighty two thousand point three tons per day, and then. Uh, Crude palm oil itself is one of the most consumed types of the vegetable oil by the world community, which is about 40% of all types of vegetable oil. So, crude palm oil could be used as a food ingredient, cosmetic industry, biodiesel, chemical industry, and animal feed industry depends on how the product was processed. And then... Uh, PT Smart TBK is currently trying to decrease the inefficiency at the production process of crude palm oil that was gain a lot of losses of the oil quantity while the production process is conducted and also to increase the productivity itself. So uh, PT Smart TBK implement the automation strategy as the method to overcome the inefficiency of the production uh, with using the supervisory control in data acquisition or SCADA SCADA. Each process is displayed on the screen in the control room. If any problem occurs in the process, it is read directly on this control system so that it is easier to find the trouble spots and fix them. Uh, in the terms of the time and labor, investing in full automation is much more profitable. But with this new implementation of the automation strategy, the evaluation should be conducted to know and seek more deeply regarding the differences of the production result before and after the automation is implemented. So uh, based on the background, we could uh, construct the problem formulation, which is the first one. How is the implementation of the automation strategy at PT Smart TBK? 
And then the second one, how to evaluate the automation strategy at PT Smart TBK. And then the last one is the what are kinds of recommendations for the automation improvement at PT Smart TBK itself. Then for the research objectives, in here we have to analyze the implementation of the automation strategy at PT Smart TBK. And then we continue with evaluate the automation strategy at PT Smart TBK using break even point. And then the last one, we could arrange the recommendations for the automation improvement at PT Smart TBK. So for the research methodology, we have the research approach itself, which is we could conduct a literature study on crude palm oil, compile the theory of each stage of crude palm oil production that conducted at PT Smart TBK. And then we have to conduct the literature study of automation and also the break even point itself. And then for the methodology comparison, to evaluate the research topics regarding the enterprise business and automation analysis, Several methods could be used, such as the trend, break-even point, common size, and differential percentage. For this research, break-even point was chosen because this method could provide information to company leaders regarding how the relationship between sales volume, cost incurred, and the level of profit earned at a certain level of sales. Therefore, break-even point was chosen in this research because it is more detailed and specific in calculation and also provides some visualization to make the right decision to the company. And then for the data collection, for the primary data, we have to conduct the field ob observation and then cinematics automation analysis at main production of PT Smart TBK. And then for the secondary data, we have the break even point that already determined by PT Smart TBK and then production data such as the fresh palm fruit, crude palm oil, random throughput and losses. And then the last one is the machine setting data after automation strategy. And then this is the research workflow. So the research start with conducting the field observation and literature study, and then continue with the problem formulation. After that, we have to uh, determine the research objective, research scope, and then we compile the data collection, such as the break-even point that already determined by PTS Matebeka, production data, and also the machine setting data after the automation strategy. And then after that, uh, we enter the data processing, uh, such as the break-even point evaluation after the automation strategy implementation using the linear regression. And then after that, we could analyze it. And then after that, we could determine the conclusion and suggestion. And after that, the research is finished. So what to do next after maybe this proposal was approved and accepted is uh, we could continue with the result and discussion, and after that, we could construct the conclusion. And also, if there is any recommendation from the other parties, it could be more uh, supporting this research. And then this is the reference for the uh, proposal uh, from the first until the 20 uh, reference that I used to uh, construct this uh, proposal. And also I already summarized and also the paraphrase this uh, reference to avoid the plagiarism. Maybe uh, that's all for today's presentation, if there are any uh, mistakes inside my presentation. I would like to uh, ask you for a huge apologize and uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala always get and protect us in a kind of condition and situation. Uh, and thank you for your attention, Prof. Zahari and all of my friends and see you inshallah in the other opportunity. Uh, maybe that's all from me. Wa bilai tafiq wa lidaya wa ridha wa inaya wa afamikum. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.